When Karen's misbehave in public, it's never just a small scene. It turns into a full-on spectacle, from over-the-top complaints to wild outbursts. These moments often leave us shaking our heads, but sometimes they get exactly what they deserve, and you won't believe how these situations end. Let's see what happens when pushing too far comes back around. Number 7. A young skater was in the middle of a heated argument. He couldn't seem to win. Joel, who was watching, chimed in. Who cares? Just go ahead, act silly, and I'll make sure people watch. I'm not a clown, he retorted. Clowns belong in circuses, grow up. Joe didn't let up. He challenged the skater. I hear you talking. Want to bet? I'll pull you out by your shirt. The air was thick with tension, and people started gathering around, cheering them on. The skater tried to stay calm. Joe wasn't impressed. You're picking on a 14 year old. How old are you? 37. Actually, I'm 40. He shot back. The exchange was intense. I'm a little punk. Has the one who's messing with a 14 year old, and what are you, 37? A clash of personalities and attitudes playing out in the world of skateboarding and street culture. Number 6. So this meal delivery lady found herself in a serious situation. She felt her tip was, well, not up to par. Instead of shrugging it off, she decided to have a little chat with the customer. Where the food you ordered is coming from, I don't think you realize the distance that it comes from because then you would never actually... Things got heated really fast. She wasn't shy about wanting more, but the customer not having it. They were miffed about the service. And the last thing they wanted was to fork out more cash. Things got a bit out of hand at the doorstep. Tension was high and neither was backing down. The customer stood their ground, refusing to settle. The delivery lady was fuming. So what did she do? She pulled a move that'll make your jaw drop. She snatched the food right back and marched off. Number 5. Jenny Rose Saunders cruising along suddenly finds herself under the scrutiny of flashing blue and red lights. Don't worry, man. Officer Balls are Scott's place. Please, your license registration insurance. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I, I, you have I'm your license. Yeah. You have your license registration insurance. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. I need your license. The officer approaches. A simple suspended registration issue on his mind. But Jenny, she's got other plans. She rolls up her window. Just a crack left open. Ma'am, you are now the under arrest. Ma'am, lower the window. You are now under. Stop. Ma'am, lower the window! Ma'am, lower the window! Ma'am, lower the window! Send an additional unit. You think maybe she's not all there, and maybe she's under the influence. But no, Jenny's stone cold sober. It's pure entitlement driving her actions. She thinks she's above this, above the law. The officer, he's not having it. He tries to reason and tries to get her to cooperate. But Jenny, she's a wall of stubbornness. Get out of the car. Why? You're now. Why? What did I do? I just the window an officer. I, I didn't realize he could put my... Can we open this door? Why are you guys doing this right now? Under arrest. Jenny Rose Saunders is not a criminal mastermind. 
She's just someone who thought she was above the rules. You guys play and play. Put your hands against the wall. On the wall. On them. I really do not. Right, do you want to get obstruction too? Are you really they're going? not following instructions is your they're problem. They're on the wall. No, they're not. They're not touching. Put them, are you gonna clean them? Put them on the wall. Are you I'm gonna not going to tell you again. So could you clean it for me, please? Do you? No. And look where it got her. A night in jail, a hefty fine, and a story that will follow her for years to come. All because she couldn't just roll down her window. Number 4. Karen barged into a group of kids' garage, visibly angry. Oh, look. Hey, don't touch me! Hey! What are you doing? Don't touch me! She was furious because she believed the kids had made a rude gesture towards her. The kids, although scared, stood up for themselves. You flipped us off. We're little kids. You flipped us off, man. No, we don't kill me in our house. You're a little kid, and you have enough sense to know. Where are your parents? Karen, however, was relentless. She accused the kids of damaging her door and demanding to know where the parents were. The kids maintained their innocence insisting they hadn't done anything wrong. Oh, what? <laughs> no, where are your parents? See, exactly, you broke our door. No. It underscored the importance of respecting personal boundaries and resolving conflicts calmly, regardless of age or background. You don't gotta be racist, though. And you were filmed being flipping us off, so yeah. you're uh, did, wait, wait, wait. Didn't you just do that? No. Number three. In Saratoga Springs, New York, police officers noticed a car that didn't stop at a stop sign. They pulled the driver, Serafina, over and started chatting with her, gathering information without making her uneasy. Okay, what type of drinks were there? One Manhattan. Okay. How long ago were those drinks, man? After further investigation, they found more than they initially thought. Serafina ended up receiving several tickets. She was charged with driving while intoxicated, not stopping at a stop sign, and having a blood alcohol concentration of 0.08% or higher. Just take one step back for me. It's important to note that these are serious charges, highlighting the importance of always driving sober and following traffic rules. Number 2. There's this kid. She's been watering her neighbors' flowers for three weeks straight while they're away. Here's another Karen insulting my daughter. Coming out here, my daughter's been coming here watering plants for three weeks while they're out of town. You don't know them. You insulted my child. We live in a neighborhood. Karen. Well, instead of getting a pat on the back, she's been getting criticism. The new Karen! Welcome to the neighborhood, Karen! I need a name! I've lived here! You don't need a name! Need a you need address. to get away! It's like we've got these real-life Karens walking around, causing trouble and being nasty. You'd think they'd leave that kind of behavior on the internet. But no, it's right here in our neighborhood. You need to go somewhere, Karen! Welcome to the internet, Karen! Number 1. There was this incident in Houston, Texas at the Northline Transit Center. The officer asked Arnisha to leave the train because she hadn't shown proof of her fare. At first, she didn't want to, but a 911 operator advised her to listen to the officer. I'm being harassed by another officer that has the wrong uniform on. So she stepped off the train. However, she didn't go far, which seemed to upset Officer Gilbert. Talk, talk. Go back over there because that's the safe side. If found guilty, she could be looking at a fine of up to $4,000 and possibly a year in jail. It's a tough situation, and it all started because of a train fare issue. So I can put him on the side. And, and then what? Have you ever seen Karen in action? What do you think was the wildest moment? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and hit the bell icon to turn on notifications so you never miss out. With more content like this, we will be back soon. Until then, goodbye.